Well, not that I'm very good at makeup at all. I am attempting uh, a thing. I am attempting a domino look because it's Deadpool night and I wanted to play with makeup and it's probably gonna turn out bad, but you know what? Go on this journey with me of randomness. This is Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer in L1 Neutral. Like, blend out, because clearly this looks ridiculous. Um, well, this already is quite interesting. Should I just leave it as one? I think she only has one in the movie. Let me smooth this out, and then we'll see. I think I'm gonna use a brush to kind of keep the lines more linear. Uh, and let's go from there. I will more than likely use a beauty blender. Oh, I'm gonna, maybe I should have left the line. <laughs> I don't have time, we're speed cosplaying. I don't cosplay. I just try sometimes to do a thing and maybe the thing does a thing. Okay, so looking straight on at myself in the mirror, I don't really see that big of a difference. Looking at myself in camera, you can see it. You can definitely see it. So I guess that's probably better. So let me beauty blend a little bit. Okay, so now I look super unbalanced. One concealed under eye, one not. The difference makeup can do. Amazing. Alrighty. The lighting in my bathroom's awful. Ooh. That moment when you thought you were recording and you weren't. So Kat Von D's Locket Foundation in Light Neutral 41. Um, is what I'm trying to use now. Don't mind me, just failing at makeup. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So far. Hello. How are you? It's probably gonna go wrong again, but. Ah, ah, it's going wrong already. Just don't beauty blend it, okay? Just leave your lines alone, <laughs> otherwise you have this happening. Uh... Okay, stop. Learn when to stop. Now I don't have translucent powder, I'm gonna use my artistry. Exact fit, perfecting loose powder in light. It was the lightest one they had. Okay, so I am going to maybe I don't think I'm going to do an all black look. Every time I try and do black eyeshadow across my eyes, just with like one that I have, it doesn't always go as planned. It kind of like smudges around. So I think I'm going to begin super dark brown once I put on a base shade first. So for starters, let's get some shimmery white. This is an exposed Pure Exposed Eyeshadow Palette by Crown. I'm not doing any kind of fancy eyeshadow look. I'm literally just gonna layer stuff on. I put 21 on, which was this light, light shade. Now we're gonna move on to 22, to 23, and then to 24. Deepening the crease as best I can. So I'm going to start with 22. Again, that brown shade here as the main lid color. The concept I um, kind of guess I'm trying to go with is like a snake eyes dice look. I don't know if that's going to turn out or not. I would love to go as black and as dark as I can for my whole eye. So if my eyeshadow cooperates this time and lets me get to that point, Awesome, that's what we're going with. Oh, this sucker got dark quick. Look at all that fallout. Ugh. Ugh, the amount of makeup that's in my eye right now is. Get 
out of here. And okay, there's a lot of shimmer in here, so the more I flick away, the more shimmer is left behind. Thank you, unintentional highlight. Woo! Those dark circles are still intense. Ha ha ha. Nothing I can do about that now. The time is running low. Okay, so now we're going in for black. As you see, my eyes are quite dark at this point. I'm just kind of going in over and over. And yes, in order to do one's eye makeup, you must look like this. Wow, I'm so dark, so smoky. I'm kind of going for maybe an, a little under eye liner. Dang, that happened fast. Okay. I mixed together 23 and 24. Can I take it even darker? I'm gonna try even darker. To be honest, this is kind of starting to look a little like, um, what's his face in Suicide Squad. Okay, we're gonna leave the eyeshadow on alone. But here's what we have now. Okay. Let's go for some Kat Von D's tattoo liner in Trooper Black. Oh, well, that is not going as planned. Uh, the mascara the mascara I currently like to use is the Miss Munga. Uh, oh, well, great. Oh, well, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, there it goes. It's okay, you know why? I wanted it blacker. Oh, you know what? I'm making it worse. Let's just leave that be. I'm just gonna do this as fast as possible. I'm just trying to shape, shape? Mm. Trace the brow that I currently have. Okay, one is like severe. Oh no, oh no. They're sisters, not twins. <laughs> I've gone too far. I try to make them as close as I can. As you can tell, that didn't really work. Also, I realized in the camera, you can see that makeup is now missing from the center of my face. You know what? It's fine. It's gonna be dark. It's a movie theater. It's, it's fine. We are now going to be using Ciate Dewey Sticks in Gleam. And it looks like... Now, I do not have a contour kit, so what I'm going to be faking it with is the NARS Satellite of Love blush. It looks like this. Just gonna get in here with my blush brush slash my powder brush. Don't judge. I'm going to the contours of the cheeks and then I'm gonna blend it out with just a bit more that you do that by pinching your fluffy brush into like a little edge as best you can pinch and you just go for it okay and i'm just going to take a little bit more bring that up here Ugh, i regret that anyway Normally I don't go as much with the um, highlighter. I'll try and lighten my strokes up up here. Anyway, it's just a kind of smudged around. I messed it up. Oh well, just look at this side, it's fine, yay. And again, don't have time to fix it. So this is technically a fail, but I'm kind of okay with it anyway. And last, but not least, we are going Kat Von D's Witches. Alright. I'm done. This is my look. Ignore that patchy spot right there on my cheek. Both cheeks. And just imagine that that concealer is still right there perfectly. I would say if I was to try this again, I would use straight up white paint to get the results that I wanted, which, I mean, I don't have that, so. And frankly, I'm not gonna go out and buy it just for this. I have way too much makeup that I never use, so why not just go with what I've got? 
Now for the finishing touches on my outfit. Oh, hello. Ha ha ha.